Welcome to Today I Choose. And I'm really grateful that you're joining me here today as we're um, making a journey with a child through the um, quantum actions, the brilliance, the magic, the spiritual gifts, no matter how you want to define right, the actions this child was able to construct to create what we today cause uh, with adults as PTSD. Now the brilliance is, is this child survived sometimes the most horrific, horrific, right? When I tell my story, it was horrific and mine was by no means, right? The worst that I've um, worked through with people. So what we have to understand is that this brilliant child not only did that once, right? He did that over and over and over again. And if we were to be viewing time like a string, we've got a person that, right, is, um, has gone through life in a fairly consistent pattern. Right? He's been able to grow up and um, make choices in sequence to his development versus the child that at five or three is either being um, sexually activated, interfered with, and they're dealing with um, the complexity of thought that would come with puberty and after for the average person, right? And they're not having to deal with it from some person at school. Maybe it's their dad. Maybe it's their brother. Maybe it's their uncle. Maybe it's, you know, a family friend. Most often it's somebody very close to them, right? So... In us understanding us and untangling us, we give them the opportunity to be living like this versus this, right? Now, what we have to understand is when we have PTSD and we've got these loops all over our timeline, there's very little difference between today and when we were children, right? We have to understand that. So as we're dismantling and, and, and um, reestablishing a through line, a timeline that is consistent, right? We start untangling the loops and we start pulling ourselves into a trajectory that is operating like this. Right now, I spoke a little earlier about Dom and her, and um, they do a lot of research with time. And I love their picture that our personal timelines are um, like a tree, right? So we've got this person that is living with an, you know, a supportive, functional, right, nest family unit. And they're dealing with the complexity of thought as it comes naturally, right? And with puberty comes the idea of um, sexual stimulation and interacting with someone that fulfills that, right? Then we've got this person over here that say at five gets hit. So we've got this little seedling tree that left to its own devices would be reaching for the light, reaching for the sun you know, striving for its maximum potential, 
as a being and its root system, its trunk, and its display would be growing in um, tandem, right? In support of the three, right? So we've got this child that's living in a home where say daddy is coming into the little girl's room in the, in the middle of the night and say she's five, right? So we've got this tree that gets stepped on. So it's kind of growing sideways and then it starts reaching for the light again and it gets stepped on again and it's growing sideways and starts reaching for the light and this is just a systemic stamping down until this resilient oak that was intended is operating in the world like a scrub tree, right? A tree bush, a, a tree that is fractured and fragmented enough that it could be mistaken for a bush, right? It's easily pulled from the ground, its root system is um, compromised, right? Its resilience is um, poor because there's no trajectory of um, force, right? So who the seedling was to become was very affected by these blows. So these loops, right? Now, what I can say is often my people who are in the full throes and crisis of PTSD have cysts in their bodies. It is an innate unconscious way of containment, right? But eventually we always remember. And that can show up in many ways. Now, what we're gonna look at when we come back together is the action of travel, right? Now, Dom and Herd tells us that we can re rewrite trying, right? They're trying to rewrite the fracture, some big fractures in the collective consciousness, and they're working towards that. But individually, if we choose, we can rewrite time. Now, there are some events that are consistent across the whole of our six timelines. That means we have accepted it, you know, through every level, excuse me, every level of our being, right? But in each one of those timelines, we're operating from that event differently, right? Now, some of these events are really heavy in a timeline, right? And not in the others, and we can choose, right? So from this moment forward, I want you to drink in that you're brilliant. And today you get to choose. You can take control. You can start playing this game. You can stop being derailed and be activated. It's your choice. It's your choice. And I want to show you how. It's truly that simple, right? Let me show you how to get out of this because you can't, right? And we need you. Our world needs a different level of humanity. And you're here right now for a reason. So let's put it into action. No more sideways living. Let's live full out with you in your in purpose, on purpose. Because today you get to choose. So hop on my website, book your freedom call, 30 minutes. And um, there's tons of resources, free resources there for you as well. So please poke around and begin this, pro pro this process of activation, right? SherryDoyne.com.